Um, <laughs> so, hey Buck, um, I wanted to show and tell, as you so gracefully offered, and the first thing I want to show you is my new hair. I got a haircut today, and it's much better than it was before. You see in my previous videos, my hair is all like, <clears throat> because, you know, I don't blow dry my hair in the morning, because there's no time! And so, yeah, my hair is nice. I, um, I went to a professional hair hairdresser, because usually my mom takes me to, you know, some crappy hairdresser who's never been to design school and doesn't know how to do hair. So, yeah, that's, that's my first show and tell. Show and tell one. My second show and tell is my stuffy. This is Capybara Saw, see? And he's really cute. And I got him in Kyoto, Japan. And my friend won him for me in the claw game. And if you've ever played the claw game, you know how difficult that is. One, because people in arcades here in North America are evil. They just want to suck up your money till you're so frustrated that you don't even want the stuffy anymore. You just, your pride is injured and you need to beat the game, but it won't let you because they're all like packed in there like sardines and it's very, very unpleasant. But in Japan, they have an entire new philosophy on in life. In Japan, they believe that the customer is important. So, where I got this stuffy was um, an, an actual arcade that's dedicated solely to the claw game. And um, the attendants at the arcade, they'll actually like open up the machine and get the stuffy and place it in a place that's easier to get. Because, you know, they figure if you're going to pay 20 bucks on this game and it's going to drive you insane, you may as well actually get a reward at the end. Just so that you don't rip out your hair and cry like you do in North America. So, yeah. This is Cappy Barsa and I love him. And business people in Japan are nice to their customers. What a novelty. So, my uh, my third um, show and tell object for today is my violin because I love it and my violin is from 1869 I don't know if I can actually show that on camera but in the little F hole here it says 1869 and yeah so and um, I've been playing the violin for about 13, 14 years, and, um, I love it, and the, the story that my mom tells me every once in a while of how I actually got interested in the violin was I was at a concert, and, uh, I saw the Kate Brennan Fiddler, Natalie McMaster, playing and singing and dancing, and she was a triple threat all at once. And I was just so inspired that I was like, I want to be just like that, singing and dancing and playing. And I can only really play. I can't really sing and dance, but that's a minor indiscrepancy. So I'll, I'll play a song for you since, you know, show what my hard work is for. <laughs> I hope you watch my video, and I hope you like it, and, um, I'll, I'm glad to show and tell, and, um, yeah, bye. <laughs>